how to calculate mean, median and mode and how can we use them in our daily life. Firstly, let me teach you the easy trick of remembering mean, median and mode. Well, note it down that the mean and the average are the same things. Secondly, in the median, there are two words M and D which means middle number. Thirdly, in the mode, there are two words M and O which means most often used. Thus remember that mean is the average number, median is the middle number and mode is the most often used number. Now let me teach you calculating these three variables. Calculate mean, median and mode for the following data set. We know that mean and average are the same thing. So I will add all these numbers. 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6. There are 5 numbers present in this data set. So I will divide this number by 5. When I add these numbers using calculator, I get 22. 22 divided by 5. I get 4.4 .4. so the mean or average number of this data set is 4.4 .4. now what about median well we know that median and middle are the same numbers write all these numbers in ascending order 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 6 comma 6 there are five numbers present in this data set five is an odd number we know that median is the middle number so in this data set, this 5 is the median because there are two numbers present at the left side of 5 and there are two numbers present at the right side of 5. So 5 is the middle number or we say that 5 is the median of this data set. Thirdly, what about mode? Well, we know that mode is the most often used number. We can see that 6 is used twice in this data set, hence the mode of this data set is 6. Thus by this way, we can easily calculate mean, median and mode of any data set. Let me give you one another example. Find the mean, median and mode of the following data set. Well, we know that mean and average are the same thing. I will add all these numbers. 12 plus 7 plus 1 plus 4 plus 10 plus 8. We know that there are 6 numbers present in this data set. So I will divide it by 6. After adding, I get 42. 42 divided by 6. I get 7. So the mean or average number of this data set is 7. What about median? Well, we know that median is the middle number. So I arrange all these numbers in ascending order. 1, 4, 7, 8, 10, 12. Now listen carefully. There are 6 numbers present in this data set. In case of even numbers, I use the trick. I cancel one number from the left side and one number from the right side. Then I cancel one number from the left side and then I cancel one number from the right side. Now these two numbers are the middle part of this data set. We will find the mean of these two numbers. 7 plus 8 divided by 2. I get 15 divided by 2 is equal to 7.5. So the median or middle number of this data set is 7.5. In case of even number, use this trick to find the median of any data set. Now what about the mode? Well, we know that mode is the most often used number. We can see that no number is repeating in this data set. Remember that no repetition means no mode. Let me repeat it. No repetition means no mode. So the mode of this data set is none. Thus note it down this example. Finally, let me teach you one another example. Find the mean, median and mode of the following data set. We know that mean is the average number 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 6. There are 6 numbers present in this data set. After adding, I get 16 and I divided by 6 which is equal to 2.67. So the mean or average of this data set is 2.67. 
Secondly, we know that median is the middle number. So I arrange all these numbers in ascending order. 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 6. There are six numbers present in this data set. We know that six is an even number. In case of even number, we use the trick. I cancel one number from the left side and one number from the right side. Then I cancel second number from the left side and second number from the right side. Now I find the mean of these two numbers. 2 plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So the median or middle number of this data set is 2. Thirdly, we know that mode is the most often used number. We can see that 1 is repeated 2 times and 2 is also repeated 2 times. So the mode of this data set is 1 and 2. Hence noted down this important example. Lastly, let me teach you that how we can use this concept in our daily life. Well, consider Mr. Tom. Let Mr. Tom sold these cars every month in a whole year. This is the list of cars sold by Mr. Tom in a whole year. Now if someone asks you, find the mean, median and mode of this data set. Can you find it? Well, let me calculate it. We know that mean is the average number. I add all these numbers and we know that the total months present in a year is 12. After adding all these numbers, I get 60 divided by 12 and I get 5. So the mean of this data is 5. This 5 shows that Mr. Tom sold round about 5 cars every month. Let me repeat it. This 5 shows that Mr. Tom sold round about 5 cars every month. Secondly, we know that median is the middle number. So I arrange all these numbers in ascending order. I cut one number from the left side and from the right side. Then I repeat this process until two numbers are left. Now I will find the mean of these two numbers. 4 plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So the median of this data set is 4. It means that Mr. Tom sometimes sold more than 4 cars and sometimes he sold less than 4 cars. Thirdly, mode is the most often used number. We can see that 4 is repeated 3 times. So 4 is the mode of this data set. It means that Mr. Tom sold 4 cars for 3 consecutive months. Uh, we can say that he sold 4 cars more often. By this way, we can easily understand the selling picture of cars in a year. I hope that you have learned all about mean, median and mode.